What's up, good people? This is you. And as we look at the tape, yeah, y'all see it. You know what I'm saying? We have. How do you say her name? Hold on. Let me let me dabble with her name right here. Jinwa. Hopefully, I'm saying that correctly. All right. Sitting here at the 255 action, you know what I'm saying? Looking. She reminds me of someone. I don't know who, though. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know who. And it seems also like her skill, her kit, like there's no elements involved. Um, though, when I first saw Breakdown, my first, the first person I thought of with Breakdown was Mana. Right, so I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do. The, I'm gonna have to do her character quest. You know what I mean? Which, by the way, you don't have to do in order to complete her skills here. All right, but that's not all. You know what I'm saying? That's not all. Okay, we got the stellar board out here. All right, so we're looking at the stellar board. Okay, and as we can see, her. First skill, well, actually, no, it's the same. Tesseract. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting name of an ability. All right, Tesseract. Magic attack on all enemies times five. Double XL. Who does that sound like? It sounds like Yakumo, actually. Um, except his is based on MP. He can do the attacks if he has the MP for it. He has the highest MP pool in the game, by the way. All right. Damage increased based on how low target HP it interesting <laughs> based on how low their hp is so if you like if you're doing like say the challenges right like if i were to go fight vars right now um that'd be interesting very interesting because i know i can go inflict ma man <laughs> i'm liking this kid already all right um, in Stellar Burst, right, certain buffs on all enemies are inverted, becoming debuff effects. Wow, so this... Okay, hold on. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Um, trying to think of a boss that buffs himself like crazy, right? Because if you can manage to pull off a Stellar Burst with her in the party, um, that buff just became a crippling debuff for them. It's like the... Uh, it's like... Shion, except not really, right? It's, it's like Shion, but with buffs, really. Um, if that makes sense, you know. Wow, okay, that's busted as hell. <laughs> Excuse my language, but it is, you know what I mean? Like, imagine a boss that gives himself, like, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just raise my power, you know, double XL, 99 for 99 turns or whatever, right? Well, you stellar burst. You just decrease that person's power <laughs> double XL for 99 turns. You see what I'm saying? So, at least that's how I'm thinking about it. All right. Now, I don't know what actual buffs this actually would apply to, but, you know, just based on reading it, you know, if it was like all of them, then yeah, this is, she's, she's incredibly busted, to be honest with you all. All right. So, anyway, um, looking at this here, right? Pretty standard stuff. Shadow power is greater. Party damage is increased. Okay. So obviously having her in a shadow based team would work. So people like a Yakumo, Ify, herself, and who else? Who else? Who else? Um, um, Venefica, maybe. Although Venefica deals with curses, but you know, you never know. All right, I'm just thinking about shadow users off the top of my head. And they all got the same look going on, kind of, you know, when you think about it. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, ability here, nothing special. Um, 2K MS plus allies in front line. User, when user acts in battle, shower power is stored up. Okay, that's fine. And then we have her ability here at battle, start in front line. All staff allies gain magic damage up based on the max MP max and staff equipped characters damage plus 50 percent so just by virtue of having yakumo in the party <laughs> just by virtue of having him in the party 
Um, because again, he has the highest MP pool in the game. You know what I mean? So just having him in the party, you know, would like buff all other. It, if I'm reading this correctly, this will buff all other staff users in the party. You know what I mean? On the front line. So, yeah, like I said, based on what I'm looking at, she would pair really well with Yakumo just on that alone. You know what I mean? I also think they're KMS users as well. Um, let me actually double check that. Let me go ahead and uh, obviously she's KMS. Yakumo is also KMS. Perfect. But that's not all we got for today. We got something else for you all here as well. Annabelle, extra style. Okay. So. <clears throat> um, hold on a second. I was reading a comment here. All right. Anyway, so Annabelle. Okay. Unfortunately, you do have to do that that quest of hers to um get this final skill all right and here we have the final skill here paladin's path all right preemptive restore all party members hp 50 percent mp 15 percent and user gain shield three turns fixed value five thousand all right um based on who's in the party light then we get damage done by party members up 50%. And if it's shadow, it's a damage reduction. Okay. And then this skill here, it's like a novel. Man, what is this? All right. Fire type piercing attack on all enemies times two. Okay. Buffs almost everything. I say almost because she's not a Kuchinawa. All right. Um, party. We got power and, and speed up 50%, which is pretty good. Okay. Buff effect increased by two and strength increased by two for guiding like characters and guarantee crit critical and user gains Lance equipped character damage plus hundred percent. So basically she gets buffed like crazy. Um, you know, and that's cool. And then of course for the shadow, it's just the reverse of everything I just mentioned. Um, except this final portion here, when user is hit by a magic attack or physical attack, fire type piercing attack on all enemies times two, strength times ten, and heal party. So think think like radius, right? Like radius has that ability to set that counter where if she gets hit, she can actually restore. You know, except this is different where um, not only would she, you know Annabelle restore, she would also hit the enemy. So it's like a counter um, based on what I'm reading here. All right. Now, for the Stellar here, here we go. And we're going to start at the skill called Justice here. All right. Activate user's strongest learned unique skill and Divine Dusk. Only if Divine Dusk is learned. Okay. Um, I don't know what Divine Dusk is. <laughs> you know, that's probably one of the other skills. Um, let me actually check. Or it could be a, it could be your stellar skill. Who knows? Um, let me see here. Go to abilities here, and there we go. This okay. This is divine dust. Never mind. All right, and then of course in stellar burst, this here says to deal an additional fire type piercing attack on all enemies. Double XL times thirty. Man, we are really getting up there with the damage <laughs> times thirty. Um, who was it that had the times forty? Was it uh? Daisy? I forget who it was, but this is ridiculous. All right. And increase EX level to maximum. All right. Wow. Okay. So this is basically, if I'm reading this correctly, the EX level, that's that special move that extra style characters get. So increase that to maximum. It basically takes it from wherever it's currently at to the max here. Um, but I don't know if that means it's going to fill up the bar. You know what I mean? Um, I guess one way to find out would be to just run a damn test against uh, no equipment. We'll do this here. We'll use all the adventure. Light, light, light. Shadow. That should work. And basically get into a fight here. 
against our enemy. Our punching bag. Okay. Die. Take this. I'm just curious. Oh, I don't even have her seller skill here. That's fine. Enlightenment is the key to unwavering truth. So. Okay, that took it to a plus ten. It seems. Let me see here. Go. Go. Yeah, if my. Lend me your strength. If the speed was up there, I probably could have finished that. You know what I mean? Um. Nice. Okay, so. That's what that means. If you stellar burst from the jump, then you could potentially use her special move right after using the stellar burst. You see what I'm saying? Um, which is an interesting concept, for me and honest. Pretty interesting here. And this team, by the way, wasn't optimized for that at all. Right? In fact, this I shouldn't even be using this skill. Okay. But pretty interesting stuff here. Trinity isn't even doing anything. So, <laughs> that shows you how, you know, optimized this really isn't. You know what I mean? Because um, this doesn't do anything. I should have been using this skill here. But like I said, I just unlocked the skills, so I don't know much about them. Go. But yeah, had this been optimized, I could have used, um, actually. Is it just, oh wait, never mind, there we go. You see that? Uh, now it's like, Pretty much all the way full. So basically what you can do here is in your fights, fight like you normally would, and then AF, and then you basically just use the special move like right after. You know what I mean? So let me get out of here real quick to kind of demonstrate what I'm talking about. And we'll use a different character. Um, yes, yeah, that should work and We'll go for we've been using divine dusk Which is fine um, That does two hits This does four we'll roll with that And Suzette's here Two it should be fine. Basically, what I'm looking for is to just fill up the uh, special move gauge. All right. Not really worried about tanking hits either, because that's another one of those skills that she brings to the table, as you can see. Right. Her enhanced ability at the battle starting the front line grant all party members a 100% damage barrier. One time, three turns. Barrier count increase for front line uh, palace users. Right. Which would include Aldo, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see here. It actually doesn't include Aldo. That's interesting. I thought it would because, you know, you grind for his light in the palace. You know what I'm saying? That's cool, I guess. Whatever. So anyway, to showcase this here... I know she has zero. <laughs> she has zero equipment. I know. I know. All right, we'll go ahead and go with absorb blood, or pretty much anything to fill. Interesting. I just didn't know what that was. You know what I mean? So, anyway. Mm. 
Nice. All right, let me go ahead and dabble with this here. Let the stars guide us to tomorrow. But as you can see, right? words that guide it lights our path ahead gives wings to our stride now we must fulfill the promise we have made charge forth with strong conviction and impenetrable faith so technically i could have done it the first time um Again, this isn't meant to be a damage test video because Annabelle has no equipment or Grosta, <laughs> right? So something worth remembering. Here. But yeah, I just want to showcase that particular ability. Um, you know what I mean? With her being able to, again, just go from pretty much no special move, maxed out bar special move. And if you can get that bar filled, you can use the special move. You know what I mean? You can possibly, probably could have did that all in the um first turn actually if i just af right in the beginning you know we can pay to have all in the party all right so that that's that skill in a nutshell okay um but yeah that's pretty much it for this one though um i gotta go do the damn gotta go run the new story man right again two characters i don't have a 254 <laughs> unfortunately the OG who's getting a seller awakening here okay and right I managed to get into 34 since I've been grinding them through uh, TTW in like two days all right and then Helena will be the other you know what I mean so that's pretty much it for though for this one you know what I'm saying I'm gonna go ahead and use this particular not this team comp I'll stick with this one for now um during the story or the episode i should say and i'm gonna have fun with it all right so that's pretty much it those are my thoughts on the characters so far um like i said i didn't even get to experiment with uh her ability her stellar skill um because it's not even in here here we go and I'll just really use this real quick. Nope, wrong ability. One thing, it's like the one thing I don't really like about Yakumo is that in AF, he would still um, use his um, MP, right? So it makes it hard, <laughs> you know what I mean? Just using him. So, and I really want to use a Stellar Burst with this. Test Rack ability. And it looks like I misspoke. This is multiply. Actually, no, I might be right. He hits five times. This is the enemy twice. So this is the enemy five times. Nice. Never mind. So anyway, all good. All right. I'm going to go ahead and just dabble into the story now. And um, we'll talk to you all later.